Good day everyone, welcome back to more Dishonored. So, uh, last time we entered the kennels and we're supposed to escape to Samuel so that we could escape this place. That sounded weird. But yeah, am I sneaking? Yes, I am. This leads back to the main hall. To the office of the high overseer. Wait a second. What about- Oh, I came in through there. I thought there was a door behind me. Anyway. <gasps> I do not want to, to Rat, deal with you. Damn you. Um, I forgot. Okay. Well, shoot. I don't have any. Come over here. Okay, you shall. Uh. Lay over here. This is kind of stressful. Bolts. I'm picking up every single item that I don't use, but I mean, why not, I guess? A rat. I wish I could turn into a rat. Is it gonna think I can climb up here? Can't I? Okay, great. I mean, there was a person somewhere over here. I see dogs. Those are probably really difficult to fight. A lot of them. <laughs> oh, I should have left the same way I came. Oh my god, wait a second. I want to loot this. Whelping and training hounds. Excerpt from a hound trainer's guide. From each litter, there's usually somewhere shy of four good pups, but we always drown the runt. My god, so awful. Them that remain spend three or so months suckling from their mothers before, th before we start them up with the training. It's simple at first, returning sticks and sitting still on command, only pissing outside and the like. But by the eighth month, uh, we got them hunting for scented sack dolls hidden in a scrub forest. Killing wild pigs on command and taking a man in padded armor down by hanging onto his forearm. At the end of the first year, we graduate the ones that have learned and shot the ones that haven't. The overseers take them after that and we never see them again. Oh. Except once. Walking down Clavering Boulevard, an overseer passed me, preaching about the litany of the White Cliff and the evils of witchery. And sure enough, his sound started whimpering and wagging its tail. That's how I knew it was one of mine. Whelped up from a pup. Uh, okay, what can I steal? <clears throat> okay, quite honest, I don't know where I... How I should, um, proceed or navigate this place, um, this way maybe, I'm going to save. And drop down below. Okay. By the way, are there any... Ooh. There aren't any runes or bone charms in here, so... I'm guessing I can use these um, pipes to just navigate the whole place and not be caught by whoever. I mean, I could loot a lot of things over here, but I don't want to do that because I know I will get caught. <laughs> That's why I'm saving 500 times. Okay, that dog is looking away, so I feel like I could just... Uh, blink over there and exit through that door. Oh, well, now he's turned around. They should give him a bath, he's just scratching himself all 
my god. Now the guard's coming. I could have escaped by. Oh my god, I'm so slow. Now I wish this one would turn away. Okay. My god. No, oh, he's definitely coming this way. <clears throat> Hopefully he won't see me. I wish I had a sleeping dart. Okay, they didn't see me to Holger Square. Yes, this was very stressful. Okay, I'm assuming there will be more guards. Well, I see one. Um. Don't really want to go through there. Oh, wait, I know this place. Wait a second. I can go through here, I think. Let's try to cross through here. It's the same way I went in here, so... Oh, money! Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Never doubt it. Oh gosh. Three of them. Well, this ain't fun. Ideally, I would like to jump on these pipes and then over there somewhere. We got a prowler on the loose. Because they wouldn't see me that way. Only the other guard would just go somewhere. Okay. Let's just see what happens if I get another crack at this guy. Oh, there's something here. Inch mouth war medal. I've been here before. I uh, I try to wait a second. Don't tell me I'm going in circles to the backyard. Okay, I probably shouldn't have went into the kennels then, because <laughs> uh, I've been in that area uh, last time actually when I was trying to kill Campbell or whatever. Please, she's my sister. She's not a witch. I know her. Dies. Out of the way. You expect preferential treatment just because you are her brother? She huh? will hurt. Someone get over here. You're gonna bleed. No. Okay, I tried to do the sneaky, but. You appeared as if from nowhere. We would both be dead if not for you. We are forever in your debt. I cannot thank you enough. I must get my sister to safety. But first, I may know of a way to thank you. There's a safe in the bunkhouse. The combination is two, zero, three. Take what you want, and good luck. Nice. The bunkhouse. Backyard well. Two, oh, three, he said. Okay, I'll have that in mind. Wait a second, I want to check the other side first. I wanted to take them out 
quietly because I could have done it, but I don't know why it wouldn't let me choke the person. So uh, let's see. Let's go up. I would rather be on rooftops than on the ground, I guess. So that I could actually, you know, look around. Now let's see, there's a bone charm, a rune and another bone charm. Uh huh. Okay. <gasps> no, I almost killed myself. Mm -hmm. That would have been so bad. <laughs> I would have jumped down to the guards. Oh gosh. Well, I just activated a trap. Gosh darn it. It's below. Yes. There's a lot of rats over here. I see it over there. Just the bone charm situation, okay. Excerpt from a report to the office of the High Overseer by High Overseer Gerard. I was asked, should we not tolerate the position of simple bone charms among the populace? Surely this is a trivial matter, merely a cultural practice seen across the Isles. Not as terrible as the creation and coveting of more complex occult runes. Occult runes, I'm sorry. Such an insidious question. This foolish distinction weakens our mission while the stench of the outsider grows thick around us. Perhaps as some claim our ancestors tolerated these cursed practices during the times bef before our modern empire arose to ease the lives of the lowliest serfs as they paved the roads to civilization. But there is no excuse for witchery in this brighter industrial age. Having educated the trials of many heretics myself, I swear that their eyes, as the clarity of Pain took their lives, were grateful to be liberated. I mean, they're awful, what can I say? Oh my god, okay, I can still pick it up. Uh, what did we get? Something hand. You throw carried objects a bit farther. Don't need that now. If I'll need it, I'll equip it. Trevor, we're going to need another shipment of tools to destroy these accursed bone charms. Though we managed to break down over a dozen last month, there are more coming in from all over Crystal, And the things are remarkably resilient, Edgar. You probably <laughs> shouldn't do that. I feel like bad stuff might happen to you. Cause you know... The outsider or whatever. Oh gosh, they saw me. Wait, I think I can jump on this. Hopefully. Oh, climb up. I do not want to be eaten by rats. That's for sure. Okay, now how do I... There we go. Okay, there's a rune below and then a bone charm further away. I still want to uh, find the safe. I would love to do that. But I don't know where the bunkhouse is. I don't know where the bunkhouse is, so... Um, yeah. Well, for now, let's go. Uh, okay, right over here. Gotta drop assassinations thingy, but I would 
would love to knock them out, not assassinate them, you know? Why can I not... It's literally, literally below me. Um... Well, I don't see any guards beside this one. I can't really take him out. Because, again, I have no sleep darts and I don't know how to take out the dog without killing it. And I don't really want to kill it. I mean, hopefully he would come to the side, I guess. Um... Oh, I need a workshop key. Maybe this guy has it. Over here. Oh, I got a workshop key. <gasps> There's guys over there. Let's go up here. God. There we go. I'll place you over here. You sleep, Mr. Overseer. And I shall take every valuable item. Oh my god, don't tell me they're in this room. I don't think they are. Ah, good. What was that sound? That sound was like somebody saw a body or something. Well, anyway. The Metaphysica Mysterium. Excerpts from a longer band work on supernatural ritual. It is said that we should not sully our hands when combating the forces of the void. My studies have been deemed heretical by my brothers, but their rewards have been invaluable. I have harnessed the same energies employed by the outsider and his accursed followers while avoiding their corruption. I will prescribe a twofold method in this text. Indirection, as the unwholesome powers of the outsider outsider use living flesh as a conduit, we can avoid being tainted by using the flesh of others instead. Ooh. Containment. By using channels and barriers, we can focus these void energies in a raw state, shielding them from the perverse perspectives of the outsider. Oh gosh. It's funny to me when you could say this about a lot of things in life, I guess. Oh, a valve. I don't know what that does. We'll see. But when people are like, that's power is awful whatever but they still want to use it so they find different ways to use it to make it seem better which it's not Bartholomew I've seen the harnesses you've been devising in that workshop of yours if you plan to strap explosives to my precious hounds and make living bombs out of them you can count me out of your plan I'm the master of the hounds here and without my training they'll never do as you request signed Houndmaster Wharton of course <laughs> I'm not here. You do not see me. Yeah, nice. I forgot I had to avoid these people. Didn't think you would see me. Let me turn this on. We cannot doubt the hide over here. Of Holger's device or the mathematical beauty of the music itself. We've seen it in action against the forbidden practices too many times to deny it. But the question no one wishes to ask is, is the incantation itself black magic? The boxes are priceless, but what's inside? <gasps> he came in. With his dog. That was scary. <laughs> well, I got the rune at least. That's awesome. And let's go get the bone charm as well. 
Yeah, this should be a, a bit easier, I think. Office of the Overseer. I do wonder where the place where the chest is at. Not the chest. <laughs> I play too much Skyrim. Uh, the safe. Well, this is safe. It's good that there weren't people around. <laughs> My god. Where is it? Below me. I think. It's in that room. Whatever. Oh shoot, people. How do I enter that place? Is what I'm wondering. I'm guessing through those windows, but... Since they're barred or whatever... Kinda want to check the office of the overseers, but... Although there was some kind of valve, so maybe I could open that gate somehow, but... I mean, if only there weren't 500 people with their dogs, I could have unlocked this uh, thing. Well, not unlocked it, but, you know, broke through that a while ago. I should choke out that guy. Why, you see? Because I have nothing better to do. The office of the high overseer. I could go to Samuel very easily, but I really want the bone charm. Mess hall. Uh -huh. I would try to go in there, but um, this guy can't do that. I think I can blank over here. Oh, that's a dog. I wish they would go somewhere. 
Oh look, I can, well, I can actually. Maybe I can, let's try it out. Well, I went in here. Don't tell me I'm supposed to be a rat. And that's the only way I can go there. How do I check my abilities? I don't think I have enough uh, bone charms, or do I? Oh, I do have enough. Great. Acquire. Yes. Okay, let's see. Possession. You are mine. Come on, I'm stuck. What the hell? Wait a second. I have to move these bottles somehow. Yeah, not me breaking everything, cause I'm an idiot. Okay. Now let's do this again. Haha! -ha. Call to the Spheres Volume 1. Excerpt from a work of fiction, early chapters. My stomach twisted as the engines of the odd vessel roared louder. It was the creation of Orkadu, third prefect from the Academy of Natural Philosophy. He was exhilarated, savoring each of the small craft's undulations. Undulations? I don't know. Orkadu? Orkadu? Someone. <laughs> Pulled the lever and a great gout of smoke surrounded us. The smell of burning whale oil grew unbearable as the machine propelled itself upward. I was too afraid to look through the window, which suddenly didn't feel thick enough. As if knowing my thoughts, Overseer Bryn looked at me and smiled. Recite some of the litany, my pupil. It will protect your heart from the turpitude of the void on our way to the outer spheres. Oh my. The Outsider. So much reading in this game. Excerpt from the diary of a known heretic ceased before his execution. For most, the outsider is nothing but a child's tale meant to instill fear of that beyond the family, the community. When I was young, my mother and I were on the run, moving from one village or sea town to the next, camping in the woods for weeks, always with the cursed overseers at our backs. At night, she told me of her dreams, of the empty place where the outsider whispered to her. With each visit, her craft grew, until she could see through the eyes of moths and unlock a door or window latch from outside a house. Ooh. Good powers. <laughs> I wish I had them. I will find this empty place. Somehow the key to open the void will fall into my hands. In time, I will learn the secret and he will call to me as he called to her. Call me a heretic for my studies. Drag me to your cold stone cell. Whip my flesh and put me on a trial as an apostate. Burn my body to ash. But I will continue to seek the realm of which my mother spoke. It is my life's meaning. Anyway, let's take the bone charm, I guess. Hiding place. Again, so much reading. Day 15, month of timber. I managed to steal away one of the charms they were smashing in warehouse A. Smashing them! Such beautiful and powerful things that my brothers have no idea. They'll never find me back here, though. Nobody, nobody ever comes back here. I can break up the door and they'll never find me. It's all mine. He went insane. What did we get? Killing rats gives you some adrenaline. Whoa. Is that all in this room? I think so. Let me break this. Hopefully I will not. I could have went in through here. I am so stupid. Sometimes I cannot. <laughs> ok. 
Okay. There we go. Don't tell me I'll have to bring the valve over here. Maybe not, I can use the chain after all. Is that you? Yes, it's me, shut up. We have to be quiet. The guards are walking around there and he's like, Corvo, is that you? Really loudly. Because look, look how high I was up there. And I could still hear him whisper. What's this? Hey, Corvo. It's Samuel. I'm here. Yeah, I know who you are. You don't have to say that every time we meet. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Yes, take me back to the Hound Pits pub. Okay, let's go. I got an achievement, bodyguard. You protect that Callista's uncle, Captain Jeff Colonel. Ugh, he's alive, great. I found all of the bone charms, didn't get the rune that was in uh, Campbell's secret place thingy. Didn't find Sokolov's painting. And I missed out on a lot of coins. Eh. Overall chaos was low, which is good. Although I killed a lot of people. Ah, anyway. Let's continue. And we're back. Admiral I need Hathlock some upgrading to do. In the courtyard. I expect I want to congratulate you. I don't care. If I was if I was role-playing as Coro, I would say I only care about Emily. Because it is true. Isn't it? He's alive. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. Coins. Just coins. I thought she gave me a rune. Doesn't matter. Um... So level 2 needs 5 runes, and then we can control uh, humans, which I feel like uh, would be useful, but bend time is also good. And we'll see, I guess. They're all corrupt. Let's go if speak to those to work, two idiots. We have to take down the Lord Regent and all of his key allies. You know that. You did it! Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with later. Yeah, first of all, I want to... Wait a second. Aren't there any... There's a rune over here. Let's explore this place a bit. I mean, might as well, right? Uh, okay, let me jump down over here. Oh, 
not over here. And no more. There was only one. For now, at least. Well, ugh! I don't want to get eaten by those fishes, the fish monsters, whatever they are. Oh gosh, watch them bite my ass while I'm swimming around here. Oh god! Well, ain't this fun. Can I go in here? Of course I can't. Anyway, let's go to Piero real quickly and see what I can upgrade because I might forget when I have to start the My, next can I be of mission or whatever. You? Let's see. Oh, I unlocked Mask Optics too. Let's see. Bolt capacity. Could be good. Standard bolts, but I mean, <laughs> I don't really care for standard bolts because, um, you know, sleeping bolts. But I should buy sleeping ones. Let's buy all ten. I know I'll need them. Oh, he also sells runes. You know what? Sure. Well, he has it. And I'll buy the bolt capacity. Maybe I'll unlock the one for... Sleep bolts one of these days. Now, I could unlock bend time. Agility. Agility is good. Jump height is increased and falling damage is reduced. Although I could save... Uh, those runes for blink level 2. Yeah, I'll sa save them. Now, let's head to bed. I can't go in through here. Oh, of course I can't. Oh, I almost killed myself. Do you mean to tell me you don't know how to curtsy properly? Please, sir. I was never in service with a noble. That's not an excuse. You need to learn proper decorum. The Helm Pits has seen a few lords My and ladies in this day. I don't even want to listen here, to that crap. I expect they didn't want to be recognized, sir. Never mind that. Lord Pendleton ought to be shown the respect he deserves. He doesn't. I mean, Lord Pendleton looks like a sea slug yes, or whatever, so sorry. he doesn't even so, have you forgotten you may soon need respect or whatever. <laughs> I'm joking, but he does look like a sea slug. He's an ugly man. Talk to Admiral Havelock. Of course. I wonder why we can't enter the third floor. There might be something creepy happening over there. Who knows? Where is the admiral? Outside? It is In his room? Duty to Does he have a room? Speech and action. Where the hell is the he? Depends on you. The outside, I'm assuming, then? Yeah. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. 
Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Yeah, I have sleep bolts. Well, let's enter the sewers then. Weepers, huh? I forgot about these things. I believe more of them appear if you kill more people, something like that. Not quite sure. If you know, tell me. There's two runes though. Guess I'll have to use my sleep darts. This goes nowhere, but as long as I can make money. Ah, oh, great! I'll buy a blink too, actually, once I get these runes. And I see. I mean, in theory, wouldn't be, wouldn't it be better to just kill them? An ancient note. I'm sorry, but I won't be here for the next meeting. Or ever again, for that matter. What happened here was unnatural makes me sick to recall. I left the result of our labors here for you to keep, but I expect that the rats will consume it before you return. Goodbye. And there's another one over here. What's over there? Why can't I? Well, hopefully I won't die. Did I eat those eggs? That was probably disgusting. I'll have to buy more sleep bolts now. God damn it. You know what? Let me buy my powers before I forget. Blink. Upgrade. Maxed out blink. Nice. No, I don't know. I might uh, buy Ben time once I get more rooms. So nothing is over here, so I can just go back. They shouldn't wake up, I think. For now, at least. But uh, shouldn't we kill them when you think about it? Because they've already turned into monsters, I guess. So Unless we can find a cure, I guess. So I don't know. Huh. Hello. You went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Marlin oh, is no, right. I'm not brave. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Well, let's go speak to them then. Hello, Hello. there. I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and... Perhaps again, someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Sure. Go to the Golden Cat. Let's speak with them. Um... Corvo, I know oh, the Golden is. Cat, not as a patron. Wife. Uh, one second. I design... Corvo, my friend. Stop hitting on women. Or weaponry? Yes, I cannot like skip his dialogue, which is kind of annoying to me. I need more sleep bolts. Definitely need more. I don't have a lot of money though. Ah, the Royal Corvo. I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond words. Further, 
My brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. Okay. I feel like since they're his brothers, he's the same, but... You know, it might be just me thinking that way. To which, the cat. There's no logic behind that, but I've I just Lord don't, know, don't like times, him. Believe me. Well then, let's go. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Yeah, I kind of... Up the street, Corvo. A river <laughs> hand I know pulled to up slack alongside jaw, so. me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you getting rid of Campbell shook up the Lord Regent. Okay, see. Uh, three bone charms. Oh! Oh, they died. Yeah, I have to be careful, I guess. All of them are over there. Well, besides that one. I think I can quite safely... Oh, there's a man. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Thaddeus Campbell, formerly High Overseer, is no longer a citizen of Dunwall. His name's Thaddeus. Of course, he's an awful person. And by one of the oldest traditions of the Abbey of the Everyman, it is now a minor criminal offense to offer this man aid or house. In this time of spiritual crisis, the overseers have initiated the Feast of Painted Kettle until a new... Okay. Might be. I could try. Oh, that guy. I know he will attack me. And there's another one. Wrong button. You wonder. <laughs> now, I'm going to try to speak with them. If I don't, I will reload the save because I want to be sneaky. Hello, are you enemies? Is that him? Yeah, he's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk at the distillery. Sure. <laughs> Hopefully nobody will try to kill me. I, I mean, they didn't see me do the thing, but he might know. I feel like Slagjaw might know that I was the one that did it. I don't know why. I don't well, think hopefully they won't attack me. 
Hi everyone, I'm a friend. Free from the still. Although I did... I did bad stuff to you. Wait, there's a... Is there only one thing here? I believe so. Slackjaw be waiting for you. Yeah, I know. Easy, you easy. Already said that to you me. just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. The rest of it's going to our No, they're all mad at Slackjaw. Which he obviously does keep the good thing stuff to himself. Like, how could he not? He's the leader of them. Of those idiots. Hello, mister. Here's a villain if I judge your looks aright. A villain I might have some work for. Somebody put plague in the brew tank. Half my men I are weepers. It. Trapped three of them in the distillery. Rest are wandering in the street. Since it's Probably so, have done I that. find myself short of able bodies. I may have a point of interest for you, see? Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there dressed like that and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. Okay. <coughs> Optional meet with Slackjaw. He gave us basically the non lethal way of taking care of those guys. So, um, wrong button. Objectives. Let's deactivate that and activate this so that it would show us where to actually go. <coughs> and that's what we're going to do. First of all, I shall. Steal stuff from Slackjaw, cause why not? Oh, well, there's a bone charm over here. Somewhere. Oh. <coughs> Wait a second, is there a power? No. How are you supposed to take the... Oh, I see. They escaped. What did we get, Undertaker? You move slightly faster while ca carrying corpses. Could be good in theory. Shouldn't you be fighting those things? Let me just quickly escape from this place. Hopefully Slagja won't be dead <laughs> once I do this whole thing, because I feel like he might. Okay, so I shall... Could you stop doing that? I shall um, end this episode right here then. We shall continue in the next one. Most likely take care of the Pendleton twins and whatever. And go to Galvani's offices and do whatever we're supposed to do. So yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. Follow me on my social media down below. I would appreciate it a lot. And I shall see you all next time. I hope you have a very great day. Goodbye.